Hello, hello, hello. This is me again. This is Real Talk with Amira. (laughs) My today's topic is going to be, and this is just my opinion, and this is kind of slapstick, you know, why black men love to kill other black men. And it happens every day. It happens all over the United States. It happens everywhere. And everyone complains about it. But what are we doing about it? You know, why do black men have to die every day by by the hands of their brothers? Their, you know, we're all connected. Not necessarily, not real brothers, but this is your brother. This is another man that looks just like you why are we dying every day by the hands of each other and that's just a topic that I I see it so much that it just really is it bothers me and it's not just young black men it's it's older uh, a few you know somewhat older black men but and it's it's like their categories you know the younger black men are killing other young black men the older black men are killing um, women children they kill people they're in relationships with and some of them go ahead and kill themselves. Some of them go to jail. I don't know if it's a party in jail or there is something special going to prison. <laughs> it seems like there is. And a lot of these young black men that go out and kill another young black man, they go to jail. You're not getting away with it. So do you guys love going to jail? I don't know. But that's going to be my topic tonight. And this is, again, Real Talk with Amira. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's changing. That, that's going to be my my motto. <laughs> Please change. If there is something wrong with your life, if there is something that is not fulfilling you, making you happy, if your life is not doing that for you, then you need to change something. I see a lot of people who are, I, I'm not going to say stuck. I don't think you're, you're never stuck. If you can get out of something, you're not stuck. You just need to get out of it. You need to go do something different. But I do have some people in my life that it seems they're stuck, but they're not stuck. And... You know, sometimes I just wonder, what what do people really want out of their lives? Do you just want to continue not having anything? Do you want to continue not being able to do anything? Do you want to continue not being able to provide for your children? Or what what is it that you really want? Yeah, that, that's one of the questions that escapes me because I, if I want something, I'm going to try to do it. I'm going to save for it. I'm going to go to work for it, work overtime. And, of course, that that's the hard way to do it, working, you know, that nine to five. There are many other ways that we can make money, and I'm exploring those currently and in the process of figuring those out. But... What is it that people really want? What do you want for your life? What do you want for your children's life? What do you want for your grandchildren and your great-grandchildren? Can you help improve their lives? That's an inheritance that continues. We just think about right now what I want. Oh, I got the car. I got the Jordans. I got the Gucci, the Prada, the whatever, but... What about your grandkids? What about your great-grandkids? Great-great-grands. How can you help them? I don't think they're going to be helped by 
your your Range Rover or your, 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 your Mercedes or your Gucci or you know, they're not gonna be helped by that. You are the one that's being helped by that. You think? So, anywho, back to the podcast discussion. <laughs> Why do black men continue daily, yearly? Why do we continue to keep killing each other? What is it about our makeup, our pathology, our mindset? What is it that we want to go out here and murder each other over and over again? It doesn't even make sense anymore. And we're not just killing other black men because other people are caught in the crossfire. Women babies we're killing babies um older gentlemen older men i listened to a story today where um a mother's son was killed a rapper of course a rapper another rapper killed Mm, that's not new and there was a older gentleman six i think i believe they said 65 years old he was killed in the crossfire. He was cutting their lawn, cutting grass, trying to provide for his family, 65 years old. And he was just uh, collateral damage. Whole family destroyed. 65 years old. This this man had been with his wife since he was 14 years old. Since she was 14 years old. I'm not sure how old he was, but all that time perfectly fine content taking care of his family killed because of a beef something stupid something that doesn't make any sense all because a black man wants to kill another black man you know so none of that makes sense to me None of that, but discussion for today. And why is it that we do this? That, that's the question. You know, we always want to complain. We complain about a lot of stuff. You know, and black men today, we we're, they, some of what I see, you're, you're complaining about angry black women. Oh, black women are angry. Black women are not out here killing people black women are not out here killing other black women or black men and of course that that it does occasionally happen but predominantly black women are not killing black women black women are not out here killing black men so what's wrong with black men that we go out here and kill every goddamn body we kill each other we'll walk up to another black man on the street and shoot him in his head for his wallet or seen that a couple weeks ago for his wallet in broad daylight on camera we're in front of a convenience store convenience stores have guess what black men let me let me tell y'all i don't know if y'all knew it they have cameras (laughs) see that, that that's not even logical We're doing things that are not even, even as a criminal, you know, we have all these criminal shows and criminal minds and law and order and all these things. Some criminals are trying to be strategic and smart about what they do. Black men? mm Mm-mm. Nope. There is no thought. There is no strategicness, nothing. We just go out and shoot people. We're on camera. We're on in broad daylight. We didn't text the person before we came and shot them. And guess where are you going after that? If you don't off yourself, where are you going after that? To the clinker. We're going to jail. And I don't know if black men love going to jail too. You love killing each other and you love going to jail. You, you must i don't i don't get it <laughs> i'm trying to understand that i don't get it 
and something that you like you continue to do something that you enjoy you continue to do it you repeat it it becomes a part of your habits So what is it about black men that they love killing other black men? And that's a question. That's a question. All black men out there. And I'm not saying all. And of course, I never say all or anybody or anything. But of course, not all black men are killing black men. But there is a big portion there's a nice chunk of our young black men that are just out here killing other black men and one of the things that I have talked about previously is black fathers being very important in your sons and your daughters lives I know all black men want to blame black women for everything, but no, if black men are in charge, if black men are supposed to be the leaders, if black men are supposed to be the head of the households, the stability, the the root, the structure, the discipline, then can you blame black women for what is going on with our children, our young folks? Are young black men can you blame black women or can you blame yourself <laughs> you know and I've had this conversation with one of my friends about like accountability that's really the conversation that we've had you know who's accountable whose fault is it why is everything going wrong of course he wants to blame black women and my point that I keep coming back to is Who is supposed to be leading? The man or the woman? Who is supposed to be leading? The man or the woman? Leading families. Leading communities. Leading black America. Who is supposed to be leading? And if they're not leading, why not? What happened? Where did it go? What 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 fell off the what fell off the train? <laughs> and all of these young black men, do they have strong black men in their lives? I would almost 100% say no. They don't. They're in single mother households women trying to raise men by themselves and the gun violence is destroying families and it it doesn't make sense you know and at some point we all all black women, black men, and again, I'm black. I'm most concerned with black America. We all have to start looking at ourselves and what's wrong. What are we doing? How can I improve this? What can I do to change something? And if I didn't get to change my children, let me change my grandchildren's existence, their lives, their future. But why do black men love to kill other black men? You know, and on the surface, we can say um, jealousy or envy. They have something that I don't have. Very petty. That's very petty thinking. But where did they get that petty thinking from? You know. Oh, I'm going to shoot him because I see him going somewhere and I'm nowhere. Power and control. I want to control somebody else's fate. How about you control your own damn fate? How about you control your own life? How about you get out there and make your life what you want it to be? 
Stop worried about somebody else, what they're doing, where they're going. Oh, they're going off to college. They're going to be in the NBA, the what's the other thing? The football league, whatever. They're, they're going to go do something with their life, but I want to stop them. So I'm going to go shoot them before they go off to college. I've seen that happen a few years ago, uh, four or five years ago. A young man was about to go off to college, a uh, football scholarship. A couple days before he was about to leave, he's getting his hair cut at a barber shop. And some trifling ass niggas, excuse my language, that, that's what they were, <laughs> shoot him down before he goes off and becomes someone while you're being no one crabs in a barrel that, that's that type of thought too but even if you kill everybody else you're still going to be you you're still going to be wherever you think you're at probably nowhere not working not going to college trying to sell drugs whatever but you're still going to be you you can shoot and kill everybody, but you're still going to be you, ultimately. And if you're unhappy with you, fix yourself. Going and killing everybody, killing another man that has a, a family that he's trying to take care of. Killing someone that is an aspiring rapper that's about to blow up. Killing them. You're still going to be you. Killing um, a woman you were with that she doesn't want to be with you anymore. You're still going to be you. And a lot of these people, like I said, um, the way the criminal system works, if there's a motive... <laughs> A lot of the time, the motive, you're, you're basically giving yourself to the police. There's a motive. Oh, who was mad at them? Who was angry? She left him. Motive. You're going to jail. So why not just go turn yourself in before you do all these crimes give yourself up hey i was about to kill this person i want to go to jail because that that's kind of what it seems like everybody's running ready to go to jail jail is not a, a good place i don't know i don't want to do that <laughs> but it, it doesn't make sense that we don't value our own lives we go out here and kill somebody else a lot of these people are going to jail. Somebody tells on them eventually. Cameras. A lot of these people, they, they're doing shit in the wide open. Uh, kill somebody in the parking lot on camera. Some of these cameras are very good too. <laughs> or witnesses. And you just want to go to jail. That's what it seems like. If I go do something, if I go kill somebody at 7-Eleven... Um, I don't have on mask. I'm in my car with my license plate. I want to go to jail. But then when we get to jail, we want everybody to feel sorry for us because we're in jail. We want people to send us commissary and uh, take care of us and come visit us while we're in jail. When we have the opportunity to be a free person. Doesn't make sense dumb very dumb very dumb I, I don't get that if you want to go to jail or go to the military if you want to go kill people uh the military you can go do that legally wars you you can go do that legally you don't have to kill people who are trying to take care of their families or innocent bystanders it doesn't make sense so what is it that about black men that we love to kill other black men. And that's, that's what it is. I mean we do it so. Venomously. That it we want it. We need it. We, we want to go kill each other. Because. Uh, we say because of. 
oh, he stole money from me, he stole some drugs from me, he talked shit about me, or all that is, that's that's not, not something that you kill someone over. That is not something that you kill someone over. Not, definitely not. <laughs> And it seems as if a lot of our young black men are in their emotions. They do things emotionally. They're in their feelings. They're hurt. More like women. And that may be because they're raised by a lot of women. So maybe that's the problem. We need to get men back in their lives. Real men that are disciplined and controlled with their emotions and their behavior and their actions. But these young men, they get mad and they run out here and they go shoot everybody up and it's okay. And I'll, they're in their feelings. They're emotional. They're really black women. That's what they are. That's what they're acting like. They're acting like women. Women are emotional. Women are in their feelings. And then there are consequences to all of these actions that they do. Like I said, consequences are you're destroying another family. You you might have a shitty ass family, but you're destroying a good family. And you think that makes you feel good. And a lot of these people, like I said, they get caught. They're going to jail. So any little bit of family you had, that's gone. And you destroyed another family. For what? And to me, it's for nothing. You just, you're killing people for nothing. And then you're going to jail for nothing. And you think you have this badge of honor. I'm in jail. I'm doing my time. You're doing stupid time. You look stupid. You're wasting your life. You destroyed your life. And and you're destroying other lives. And this is someone that is supposed to be your brother. Your family. We're all supposed to be connected. There's so much stupid shit out here. I don't even get it anymore. And I see it all the time and every day. And it's it's dumb. We need to stop. Black men are supposed to be in the lead. Men are supposed to be leading. <laughs> and you're not. And it is destroying families. It's destroying communities. And I think that women are like, well, damn, am I supposed to do it? Can I do it? What are I, they try to do it? And a woman and a man, again, are not the same. Not the same. We're supposed to have certain roles. Men are stronger. We're not built the same. Just, just even physically, we're not built the same. Different energy. And then women, we go out here, we've got to take care of the families. We got to try to be the mama and the daddy and work, take care of the family, pay all the bills. Because the men, y'all gone. And there are some women, I will, I will, um, I have talked to one of my friends. He's talking about some of the issues he's had with his baby mama drama. But you have to get to know people. You pick that person to have a child with without being married. A lot of a lot of people without being married. And we need to get married first. Marriage needs to be talked about more. Marriage needs to be pushed more. Marriage and families and get to know people before you have children with them. If you don't want to be there to raise your son, then you don't need to be having a son. You don't need, you need to be strapping up. Because it's, it's so many consequences to these single parent homes and these young men that are, they have no direction. Uh, they definitely couldn't feel loved. And 
they may not feel love from their fathers. They may not feel any instruction or direction from their fathers. Because a lot of mothers, they're trying to love them as best they can. But children need both energies. Male and female in their lives, if possible. And again, a lot of boys fathers have been killed by other black men so they couldn't even have a father that wanted to be in their lives some of them did because another male that probably didn't have a father has killed that father and it's just a vicious cycle but something's gonna have to change uh, or are we just gonna keep continuing Every day, oh, another black man shot, another black boy dead, uh, some more collateral damages, a uh, mother got shot in the crossfire, drive-by, baby in the back seat, uh, in the back seat, baby seat dead, because black men are out here shooting each other for nothing. Go get a job. Go take care of your family. Go take care of your kids. Go be productive. Because being productive is not shooting each other and not killing each other. Definitely not productive. And if you're unhappy killing another human being, killing another black man is not going to make you happy. You're still going to be miserable. So whatever you are hurt about, whatever has hurt you if your your father wasn't in your life he may be around or not going to go kill another black man is not going to make you feel any better and some people turn evil into good they celebrate going to go kill a black man oh we got him no you didn't you got yourself that's another body on your spirit, on your soul, on your your true identity is you're a good person. You care for others. You love other people. But you're pretending that killing someone is cool. You're pretending that killing someone is, you, you enjoyed that. You didn't enjoy that. Nope, you didn't. But until we start doing something different, this is going to continue. And I hate seeing it every day in the headlines on YouTube. I don't really watch TV or the news. But it just gets old. And why do black men love killing other black men i don't know it, you know and people always want to blame their existence or where they're at for black people on white america white people they do do some things <laughs> but if we would even work together more support each other help each other we can kill some of that. That's what we need to be killing. <laughs> killing uh, racism or discrimination. Not killing each other. But there's a lot going on with that. And until we start to address it. And I think men need to be in charge. Men need to be in the forefront. And the only reason why women are is because men are not doing it. And I know sometimes black men want to, oh, we have PTSD. We, we're, we're in um, such a state that we've been harmed and we're damaged. Black women are too. I think we probably, being slaves, we probably got equal equal justice from white America. <laughs> but at some point, we have to decide what we're going to be, come together and change it. 
I think black men need to be in the forefront of that, in control of that, directing it. And there is a lot of damaged people out there. There are so many damaged people, black men, black women. But it has to start somewhere. It has to start somewhere. And until somebody starts and starts building and it can start small, you know, taking some young men out for movie night. I thought about that the other week, uh, last week. Taking some young men out for movie night, showing them that you care about them. We want to be like, oh, that's not my family. We're all supposed to be family. <laughs> Dropping off supplies for them at a school. Things that you know they need. Five men get together and take out 20 young men. Talk to them. Don't be talking shit and trash to them. Some of the shit trash these men out here be doing. Talk some real talk to them. You want to have a family. You want to be married. You want to take care of your children. You're supposed to love your children. You're supposed to take care of your wife. <laughs> You're not supposed to use people and manipulate people, shoot people. And if women have to go out here and start taking out young men, then that says a lot about men. accountability we all need to be accountable you're as a, a man you're supposed to be accountable for certain things and as a woman I'm supposed to be accountable for certain things and I don't think they're all the same thing black men want to make women the same we we we're doing the same we want to be accountable for the same thing no 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 men and women are not the same Who's supposed to be in charge? <laughs> like I said, I've had a discussion with one of my friends about this. Um, we're not the same. You want to put me in the same position as you, and you're supposed to be ahead of me. Man's supposed to be ahead of me. You're supposed to be doing more than me. <laughs> but I think because so many men have been raised by women or you know, not masculine men that we want to, men want to become the same as women. And we're not, we're not. But that has been a little bit about um, why black men love to kill other black men. That was my topic. Um, and I just think it's a warped mindset a lot of men have been raised by women and they're not effective and it clearly shows it clearly shows and black men don't want to take accountability and responsibility for the men that they have created the young men that they have created and get in their lives and get in their asses and, and to take control put put them in line guide them to where they're supposed to go and it's not out here shooting people. It's not out here being over emotional and killing people because of every little petty thing that comes through their mind. Coping skills. We don't have any coping skills. We just go off and kill somebody. We don't have any coping skills. You have to teach kids. Okay, somebody does something to you. You don't need to always react in a violent way. Otherwise, you may go to jail. You're affecting your life too. Words are words. Yes, words are powerful, but I'm not going to go out here and kill you because you said something to me. So there's a lot that needs to be unpacked in the black community. And for black men killing other black men, y'all need to unpack that totally. I don't know. I don't know what black women can do. We can try, but I think that is a lack of 
five percent from home. And yeah, some kids are just gonna be crazy, but that's a small percentage. But there is too many black men out here killing people, and killing other black men, with innocent bystanders, and it, it becomes ridiculous. And then they go home and they go sleep in somebody else's house, their parents' house, or their mother's house. A lot of these young black men are going to a family member's house. So we need to get that in check. But that was my talk today. I'm getting tired. <laughs> I've been up all day long trying to do some other stuff this evening too. But I would love if everybody would start thinking about that. Start talking to your young men in your in your family getting in their ears and, and for some why are these young men even out roaming the streets if if they're supposed to be in high school uh you're not gonna be going out every night unless you're going to a damn job and that's for me if i had a son where you at oh i'm calling to check too i might even roll by there you at work mm, okay we got to take control of our kids we can't just let them raise themselves but anywho <laughs> look <laughs> this has been real talk with the mirror um everybody again it's may 11th uh we about halfway through the year <laughs> halfway through And I am starting to see people for the for their true selves a lot. Yeah. Some people are not wanting anything different. They're gonna continue those same patterns. Some people don't even want anything. And I don't I that's that's just not resonating with me. I need people around me that want something that want to become more that are trying to get to better places that are trying to just learn and not just fake talk talk shit oh yeah I, i'm learning no you're not you're doing the same thing so that means you're not learning but i hope everybody is looking at themselves still trying to change do something different be better get out of bad situations Oh, and I seen, I seen one of the, <laughs> one of the, the circus tribes, Benjamin, 12 tribes of Benjamin people, they done, they done got out of it, I hope. And that was good to see that they're happy and I hope they stay out of that situation. But this has been Real Talk with the Mirror. Hope everybody's doing well today i hope everybody had good mother's day happy mother's day late and i hope everybody just just change everybody got to change something if you have nephews or normally just the young folks sons cousins that you and a lot of people know you know these people out here ain't doing shit sit down and talk to them sometimes people just need to know that you care that somebody loves them that somebody cares sometimes it just takes a word for somebody to get on a different path literally for boys and girls <laughs> but this has been real talk with the mirror everybody have a good night and a good tomorrow Peace.